Our market monitor likes mid and small cap growth stocks. He says will do well in any economic environment. This is his first time on the program. He's Lamar Villery, portfolio manager with Villery and Company. Lamar, welcome. Good to have you with us. Don't get nervous, Lamar. It's not going to be. We're, we're <laughs> gentle with you here. Let's go right to your stock picks, beginning with LKQ. What is it? What do they do? Sure, LKQ. It's, it actually stands for like and kind and quality. So. These guys, if you get in a, a collision, in an auto collision, uh, you're going to want your car back as quickly as possible. So these guys work with the, uh, the insurance companies and the collision repair center to get you alternative auto parts quickly. So basically, think of it like Amazon Prime, but for auto uh, collision repair center. So you get your car back quickly, you're happy, the insurance company's happy because it costs 20 to 50% less than a new part. Uh, that's LKQ. They dominate in the U.S. They're bigger than their 20 uh, next competitors combined. So they're huge here. They've got dominant market share. They're right now they're building that out in Europe. So we think that's really where the growth is going to come from for LKQ. All right. Next is Taser International. Sure. Uh, you know, Taser, most people know it by their non-lethal weapons that are used by law enforcement agencies. And that's really a, a very mature business, highly profitable, great cash flow business. The real excitement here with, with Taser is on their body-worn camera business. So, you know, when you see incidents like happen in Charlotte or other places in the U.S. that have attracted a lot of attention, there's always the question of what really happened, what's the whole story. Uh, and, and Taser sells these body-worn cameras and then makes, makes a recurring revenue stream on handling the data afterwards. But, you know, we, what we've seen, we've talked to law enforcement agencies throughout the country, and what they've said is they're either using, using body-worn cameras now or they're going to. And they've seen the ones that are using it have said that it reduces force by, you know, like 60 percent. Complaints are down by 90 percent. And that's a huge cost saving. So that's something that we think is going to be a, a trend that's going to continue. Your last stock, Steris, is one that you bought, you say, right after the vote to leave, Britain's vote to leave the European Union. Is it a so-called Brexit play or was it just kind of coincidence that you bought it then? It was, it's not a coincidence. This was a baby in a bathwater type thing. So the company is actually based in the UK, but it's, a, it's really a US company. So the, the, the shares were penalized for no good reason other than everybody was terrified about uh, you know, UK, particularly in European stocks more broadly. Really, it's an American company. If you check into the hospital tomorrow, there's a one in 20 chance that you're going to catch an infection there, something you didn't have before, but that you get there. This is something that costs the uh, U.S. healthcare system $10 billion a year. So it's a massive problem. Steris supplies everything from soaps to clean sheets to any kind of cleaning supply to help fight those infections. So we think no matter what happens in the economy, this is an area where we're not going to see cuts to spending. So this is a nice growth stock. And granted, it's not as attractive right now as it was right mm -hmm. after Brexit when Villarreal Company bought. But we still think there's a good opportunity in these shares. All right, Lamar, thank you very much. We'll, uh, we'll revisit these uh, some point uh, in the future. Lamar Villery with Villery and Company.